Let's play some more Undead Nightmare. Yeah, I accidentally I'll delete my, <laughs> my fucking 100% um, save file again, but it doesn't matter. I almost got 100% this game anyway. I think this was easier to 100% than the first one, or than, than, than the uh, regular game. <clears throat> at least at the time. I mean, I just did a Let's Play of, this, of, the, of the original game. It took me like 11 videos to finish it. I say it all along, wasn't, wasn't as hard as I thought it was. What the hell's going on? Why is that gold? <laughs> I hate that. That's one little glitch in this game I've noticed is that because the gold gun DLC, they'll, it'll make the Cattleman revolver gold for some reason. And the and the repeater carbine. It makes those two starting weapons gold every time. It just bugs me. They're the only gold weapons in here. I don't like that. So we're, we're getting rid of that. We're getting rid of that shit. Because <laughs> I don't like having gold weapons on here because they don't do anything. You know, the revolvers that I need. Okay, we did these landing. We, we, gotta go, we gotta go find a fucking camp that's got a... I need a camp to spawn in. Because there's, there's a treasure up near McFarland's ranch. Raining outside right now, and just wonder if if it's my mic was picking up. I don't think it is though. So. Slow down. Whoa there. Holy shit! That's a lot of zombies. Whoa. Although that's actually kind of perfect for what I need. Need to kill more bolters. Let's see. Um, kill five fleeing undead and one dead eye meter. Yeah, so if I just. There you are. Probably do it right now. I just need to throw a bottle out there and take some shots. This is deep water. Come on, come on. There's a bolter. I'm not gonna actually try the thing. I'm pretty sure I'll miss somehow. Fuck off! Shit!
Ouch. Oh, bitch. Single camp. Wilderness camp. I need to find it. that goddamn treasure map, you piece of shit. That should slow you down. Shot himself, you useless fuck. What the hell is the point of saving you then? Oh shit. Save the farm ranch then. I can't find a goddamn campfire out here anywhere. No, no single wilderness camp out here. Oh. 
fire. Shit. Of these guys over here, perfect. Line up, baby. Line up. Yeah. That's not enough. pistol in this one because you know has more higher capacity than the other guns. If volcanic pistol carries eight but I also like using the semi-automatic because it reloads a little faster which is one less bullet though. And of course you got the, the Mauser pistol which is the best one to have. You can only do it through getting these challenges. And you can best believe I'm doing that. But I might use the Leonard revolver in the end because it's still a good, good gun. A little reloads a little slower so maybe I'll you know, stick with the pistol in this as I usually do.
we do a stranger mission here. I wonder who we would meet though. <laughs> Funny that our house is now in here, in the fucking prison, instead of our old home, which is over there. Yeah. You there, Bonnie? First hell walks the earth, then you turn up. Could my week get any worse? Oh, nice to see you too, Miss McFarland. Oh, I thought you'd be dead. I heard things were bad in West Elizabeth. Sure. <laughs> but it'll take more than an apocalypse to take me down. What are you? A demon or a cockroach? Both, I fear. How's your father? Fine and dandy. He should be coming out of that barn any moment now. Daddy! What's he doing in the barn? Daddy, John's here! Mr. Marston, you remember? That idiot bounty hunter. What was he doing in the barn? Just rounding up the undead and keeping them safe so the rest of us can go about our business. He's a real man. He's probably playing around with them. Daddy, stop teasing me! Now come on now! How long's he been in there? Not long. Only since yesterday. Yesterday? I better go have a look for him. Would you, John? You are kind. Call out to me if you find anything. I will do. Guess we're going in the same way we did last time. Well, this time the ladder's actually on fire. It's the last time we couldn't use this, we had to climb up there because I think the ladder and this entire tower was just like lit on fire. Can't even climb that bit, okay. Yeah, we're just doing the same, almost the same exact route we took when the barn was on fire. Nice little throwback, I guess, but it's also like, come on, just give me a quick way in there. <laughs> This is meant to be played after you beat the game, not like till you get towards the end. I mean, it has to be after you beat it. What was the other challenge? Kill one of four, one of each four undead types in one dead eye meter. Okay. Chester, thank you. We're taking this. Sorry, Mr. McFarland. You were a good man. Day. It's got a Winchester. Yeah, it's different. Like I like using the rifles a lot, but also the winch uh, the, the repeaters in um in a regular Red Dead Redemption, but an Undead Nightmare. I actually like to use the the repeaters more than the rifles. I also use the rifles because they're good for long range and more accurate shots, but I'm not much use for that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Didn't do much about that. Well, John, you always do bring sunshine to my life. 
I'm sorry about your father. I'd like to say he died doing what he loved. But he never was one for eating folks. Not slathering from the lips and howling at the moon. I guess I'll content myself with saying that he died protecting those he loved. Indeed. Well. Take care of yourself, Bonnie. You too, John. Mm -hmm. Maybe now I'll find a camp up here, somewhere yeah. nearby. Come on now. Come on. Wait, don't oh. need to kill things. Hold on. Anyone need bolters? No. No. No bolters. Easy little escort. She was pretty close to town. I won't forget you. I'll give you a quickie later. No problem. I wasn't just gonna leave you out there. Let's go. Give me a quickie. Yeah. Back to Beecher's Hope. Hey, there's Badoogle on the loading screen. The stas is probably like in there somewhere too. Stop running away, you stupid horse. What? What's this? I never done this. What the hell's going on here? Did you listen to a word I said? What? The hell was that? I've never seen that cutscene before. I know that was talking, but I've never seen that before. That's interesting. You know? Why would you say that anyway? You know, this door I said. I don't even know who the fuck you are, lady. Why can't you say it's not? It's not time to go back to them yet, or something like that. I can kill all these bastards and you. 
How can I refuse a challenge like that? Yelling help for you guys are fine. Let's go. Why? I'm going. You tell me to go in there. I'm gonna go in there. Oh my sweet Jesus! I she meant it. You should have told me why, bitch. I hate when they say that. Don't go in there. Why? Because I said so. Well, give me a good reason. You told me to go go in there. It sounds like you're hiding something from me that I could use. See that horse doesn't look undead, but it is because its legs are all chewed up and shit. Oh, 
No. Damn. Maybe there's a wilderness camp out near the Great Plains. Let's go. That was getting dead bull. Let me loot the fucking body, you piece of shit. Oh, whatever. If there's any hot spots for this shit, because it's not showing up when I want it to. Wait, shit, you're kidding me. That fucking area. Oh my god. Tanner's Ranch, that fucking cabin with the old man with the Sasquatches. It, that could have been one of them. You're shitting me. Oh my god. I hope it's still there. No, there's no way. It's probably gone now. Shit. How is that one of them? Do you expect me? Like, you can't put the original Red Dead chest in there and have nothing in it. Or you can't even open the damn thing. But then tell me you're going to put a second one in there, but it only spawns as a random event. That's bullshit.
Nice. Complete trust in my mouth. That's good. I was getting tired of you having lower stamina. Now you're at max stamina. I should have found a doctor with a Gatling gun. It'd be easy. Or the fucker with his wife tied up or some some motherfucker tied up in his, in his camp with the undeads. That too. Either one of those would be fine because they're easy. Help the doctor out, get some ammo out of it, or whatever's in the chest, there's probably some ammo and shit, and then of course the treasure map. But no, yeah, apparently Tanner's Ranch had it too, so fuck me, I guess. Come back to Tanner's Ranch, I guess. Probably not in there, yeah? Damn it, that's bullshit. Silence dead. Where's silence dead at? Like way the hell out of here. Yeah, it's way out there. Oh, I guess that's one location I could try out if nothing works. Some of these tents out here, which is or just this little place in here. Why would you fucking have that be the thing? <laughs> oh, you, you can get it in Tanner's Ranch by a little random event. Which I'm surprised that that was even a random event. Fucking stupid. It should just be in there from the get-go. Make it easier to find. that little quote uh, it makes sense if you play the game you know who Seth is you know just Seth I finally joined you <laughs> come on come on I think the rendering this game sucks sometimes Catch your pitches.
speak of the devil. Subjects, I'll be glad to resupply you if you can do a little uh body snatching for me. I must be crazy, but worth a try, I suppose. Still alive, yeah? Yeah, she's still alive. Yeah, I wouldn't carry it like that. Wouldn't want to carry a fucking zombie on any any goddamn way. This is in a wheelbarrow. this then. I didn't see the mine. Good. Thank you, buddy. That's perfect because I'm going to talk to Seth down here and the treasure here needs to pass McFarland's ranch. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Slow down. That's what I've been after. Seth! Seth, you okay? What's going on? Oh, hey there, John. Fancy a game of cards? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John. He's... He's, 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 a, he's a darn sight more loyal now than he was before. <laughs> uh, come here, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. What are you doing? We were boyhood friends, John. Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you, pal? Of course, the sick bastard be friends What's with What's going him. on? We're 
playing cards. Relax, sit down. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. That ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? I've seen husbands eating wives, mothers eating sons, graves popping open and the undead rising up. It sure as shit is something. Oh, boo hoo. Big tough John Marson has scared a little undead creature walking around. Moses wouldn't hurt a fly, would you, darling? Besides, this ain't nothing new. Folks in Blackwater blaming it on that glass eye you found. Folks! 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 Damn them, folks, John Marston! Damn them! And damn you! Get them! Get them, Moses! Get them! After all I've done for you, Seth, and I thought loyalty was important to you. You can't hurt me. Moses, get them. Go! Yeah. Get him. Get me, Moses. Looks like your dog's lost his bite, Seth. Now what the hell's going on? The dead have risen, and a virulent plague is turning people into flesh-eating crazies. What the hell you think's going on, genius? But why? But why? 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 Why not? Why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Because it ain't natural. Who made you Mother Nature and Mother Superior all at the same time? Who made you, John Marston? Same as made me, same as made Moses. Is there a cure? <sighs> These things tend to fade away. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you should go clear the graveyards. Either that, or stop worrying and become one of them. Now, if you excuse us, we got good times to remember. Happy times. Okay. See you soon, then, Seth. Come on, Moses. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Come on. <laughs> Grinning bastard. Save my game real quick. I'm gonna travel to McClellan's Ranch. I'm gonna kill three armadillo graveyards. This week's Tumbleweed, the uh, Old Fellow's Rest, and Coots Chapel. Funny because Coots Chapel is where we met our boy Seth at. And he was also robbing the Tumbleweed graveyards, and he also was robbing the. Uh, is there? Is that another universe up there? Come on. <laughs> the duplicates, baby. Whoever's living in this house now has got themselves a fine horse. <laughs> Very end here. I think it gives me 30, 30 plus ammo for all weapon types, and I have every weapon type now. 
<laughs> Except the explosive rifle, but who cares about that? Go. Good to have in this game for sure, but I don't use it either way. Jesus, ouch! Come on. Never go up here in the original game, so there's really nothing ever, ever up here in the original game. Treasures, these treasures are a great way to get ammo early on. Now this is more like it. The bit of ammo and the map. I don't want to overdo those. I'd rather do that when I'm like low on ammo and I like need some ammo. Yeah. But I also don't want to do it before I leave the areas. Like before I get to uh, Mexico, which is the last part of the game. You good, old, good there, horsey? Oh shit! Some cougars. God damn you! Get away from me! Pike's Basin. I wonder if there's anything in here. I never actually checked Pike's, Pike's Basin in uh, in this. Usually check the game hideouts for something, but I don't know if it's a, it should be a, a hideout, should it? Well, I mean, it is a game hideout, but it shouldn't be like a, a, a safe haven for uh, the zombie motors. I remember now. So, where the hell is this next one at? There's a treasure map. I forget it's at. Looks familiar. Fuck, I think I've passed that. Is that past one of those ranches down there? At least that one, that one tree off the cliff, I kind of recognize it.
one second actually. Check out of my computer. I don't know my playlist on uh, on my uh, channel for uh, Red Dead. It's got 12 videos because one of the other videos was messed up. I forgot to edit it out of there. Except I can't find it now. It's one of one of one unavailable unavailable video is hidden. Well, why can't I just get rid of it altogether? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew, eleven. Whatever. Let's look up that uh, thing, find out where this game Dan Treasure is at. And it's actually not too far from Goose Chapel. Yeah. It's right. Here. Oh, oh. Jesus. Oh my god! Whoa. I'm gonna use the goddamn bolters if I kill him. I'm gonna kill 18 or 25, just a little bit more. Damn, this fucker's out the damn way.
Can't loot these chests. What's the point of coming here then? Should have made some. This is another one of those hideouts. It's like the best place to defend from zombies. They can come from any goddamn where. Five bruisers, fifteen wretchers. Wretchers are exploding ones. Actually, they're the spitters that I think that if you kill them, they explode. Get two kind of those. I wonder if you bruisers, they're easy to spot. They're just gigantic motherfuckers. Big fatties. Whoa! Come on! Easy! Whoa! Come on! Whoa. 
Don't get anything for it? Yeah, fuck you then. Let's go! Yeah! There it is. So you get somewhere around here. So it pointed to that tree, but I always thought it was on the tree when I first followed the map, but then I realized it was like saying that you'd follow the, the path down somewhere here, you'd, you know, I don't show a picture of a tree above the treasure. I was like, okay, well, the treasure's here then. Oh, wait, shit, I should have uh, switched back to. Ah, oh, fuck it, whatever. Oh, I switched it just in time, too. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it, then. Come on. That's in the snatching post, I think, is what it's called. Let's go help out Armadillo. Got a side mission that we could do, easy one to do. Creature. Yes! It's my favorite one. The horse war. Yeah. No, come back here. Come back here, mister. No! Get the hell off me! Whole world gone crazy! Come on! Come on! Nearly got you! Easy now, you range maniac. Almost got you. These goddamn creatures. Let's go. This one's cool. Love this one. I love all these ones because they have unlimited stamina, but this one's just cool looking. You just look at this thing. War can set enemies on fire. Hell yeah. Here's Venture's place. That's where you can see that uh, tree yeah. on the distance there. Here you go. Good luck. 
Gas! Screaming about it, someone getting burnt alive. Oh, it's in here. <laughs> Duh, makes sense. Marshal? <laughs> Might have known you'd survive. What's going on? Do I look like I commune with the undead? I don't know. Well, then how would I know? Her again. My job is to take care of the folk who live here. Oh, you <laughs> heard that one. How's that going? How's that going? Well, let me put it to you this way. Cattle rustling? Bank robbery are at an all-time low, but murder, blood drinking, and psychotic episodes seem to be somewhat prevalent. Either that, or I'm dreaming. That's what I'm hoping too. How was it getting in here? It was crazy. Oh, they must be hiding again. They come in and then just disappear. The town's been nearly overrun a couple of times. Now we're low on ammunition. I'm two men down. I'll help you clear the place out if you like. You're a good man, John Marston. But before that, I'm gonna need my deputies back. What happened to them two clowns you had before? 
Gone? Maybe. I sent Jonah off to look for Eli. They've both been gone for several hours now. Who'd want to eat one of them? <laughs> That's a good question. Where'd you send them? Out near the general store. Jonah's got one of these new guns. I'm sure he can't run into any trouble. These things, they'd stop an elephant. Thank you. Yes. No, thank you. I'm sure you got your own troubles. Hey, mister. Hey, pard. You seen a couple deputies nearby? Marshall's boys, Jonah and Eli. Uh, are they Jews, mister? They sound like Jews. I don't know. Why? Why? <laughs> this whole thing is nothing but a Jewish plot. You do know that, don't you? I find that highly unlikely, amigo. Well, I don't like Jews. Or colored folk. Or natives, now that you mention it. Well... You're a nice, kind-hearted man to meet in a time of trouble. Kind does not come into it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? I bet you like Catholics. I can't stand them neither. Nor women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Between them, they ruined this country. Ruined it! It was a good country once! Now people are eating each other, and it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. Well, I, for one, won't stand for it. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Or a British, Catholic, homosexual? Not in my store. Oh, I, I get it. I see you acting clever. Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run Europe like one of them Arabian harems. Now they've sent this here plague to kill all us decent folk. Yep. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly. I must say, it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. You take care of yourself. I'd hate to see you get savaged by someone and watch the life force drain from your hate-filled body. Hey, hold on there. Why don't you join me in my fight, sir? It's not too late. I fear it is for me. Then I will fight them alone. All of them. America is the land of the free. And that means free to people like me, Herbert Moon. Absolutely. No! Oh, no, no! You can't eat me! I'm Herbert Moon! So you get bigot. Here. Where are they actually? Shit, I get them. Oh, there. Hello, boys. Marshall sent me and need some help. Guess you got other plans. Seriously, enjoy your meal, no problem. 
<laughs> Easy now, gentlemen. Remember all the fun times we had? You never did have a brain between you. You got a fire bottle, nice. I'm sorry, Marshall, they died. I don't think they were making out with each other, <laughs> not gonna lie. They just fighting each other is all they were doing, really, but still. Hello, John. Hello, Marshall. So, you find the boys? I found them. I understand. I hope it was fast for them. It was fast. And they died with their bellies full. Well, one of them did. Good. That there's Jonah's gun. Here, you keep it. After all, you earned it. Thank you. <sighs> Take care of yourself, John. You too, Marshal. Fucking music. It's like straight out of one of those old school. Those old school horror movies. Like a fucking Nosferatu from the 1920s or, you know, the Dracula's from the 1940s. Pestilence didn't survive. So much for almost impossible to kill my ass. Slow down. Let's hit you up so you don't go walking around in the fucking line of fire into the zombies' attacks. Dumbass horses. Before we burn that, is there a chest in here I can loot? I know that wasn't the original game, but I guess it's gonna not be lootable for me in this version, huh? It's gone this time, interesting. Oh, there's a door here, what the fuck? Oh god. No, get out of there. The fuck, he wouldn't jump over that thing. Stupid ass game, I swear. Every goddamn time, it's always problems with this game.
Oh, hey, that's such a really stranger mission. Headset and shit, the audio's lagging all the fucking time. Better not walk in the line of fire, you stupid ass horse. Just stay the fuck away. Girls better than fucking sawed off. Sawed off's much better for really close range, but it's just shit for uh, shit for um, long range skills. Blackwater under attack, huh? Jesus, great. Thank you all very much. Here we go.
need to go back and save Blackwater. I would, but I don't think anything happens if you don't save. It's not like, all oh, the town's completely overrun. You can never, ever go back there again. There'll be a death sentence if you do. It's like, something like that. Just, you know, I think if I don't save it, then I just, you know, just kind of a dick move, I guess. Like there's an honor system in this game or anything, but... Faster, John, faster. Out of the way, you damn horse. Oh shit! Hey, you keep going. I like about these graves is that they bring back some characters that are, uh, you know, from the Stranger Missions. We never actually met Pete Turner because he was dead for three, three years. Drew Farm, let's save this place. Explode a bomb! 
body part for me. Sure. Here you go. This was easy. Piece of shit. Ow! Hey, you're that Mexican guy that stole my hat. Fuck you. Hey, sweet for rifle. That's pretty shit, though, actually. So, what the fuck you give me that? And I've got my bolt action. That's all you've got for me? Let's take it a room upstairs. Used to be I rented this place to sleep in it. Never did rent the place to sleep in pl plain view. It's just a basic go. old tent area. You know that's a safe haven in this game. I think it is. So women's follies are gonna get to the point. You have two free channel if that's one. Tumbleweed's definitely not. Perhaps the other fork is. Fort Mercer. Seriously. For some reason, the horses in Undead Nightmare are retarded. They do shit like that all the goddamn time. Saved my life there, pal. I can't believe it. Oh well, I'll pay him. Looks like I won. Yeah! F2 Preach is one. Is Plainview not one though? I figured Plainview would have been one of them. Or Benedict Point. Oh. Maybe it is, I just go down there and discover it.
How do you get upstairs? Right now upstairs, you bastards. This is place where Gatley come from. What pain he asses just to get this guy? Where's my horse at? Where did war go? There he is. What did he say? You're about to be killed by the Great Parking? Is that what he fucking said? It's gonna skip his fuck. Alright, let me kill the rest of the fuckers with the goddamn gat and then finish this. The horse doesn't get in the way though. What the hell? Whoa, what the fuck? Get up, you piece of shit! Yeah, I know what you mean there, <laughs> average gamer. Fucking this shit gave me anxiety all the fucking time. Every zombie game used to back in the day. It's good to be zombie game. It's gonna be real fucking quick. Oh, so much for, uh, killing them all with the gat in the game. I don't want to stay still. Spitters. I need to go to El Presidio as soon as I can because those have got lots of spitters. I hope this place is me anyway if I finish this. Hopefully, it gives me something decent like a Schofield. Get some rest. Explosive rifle, wow. Okay. And it's fully, fully maxed out too. Nice. Very nice. Better than using a fucking sniper, that's for sure. I'm gonna use a golden gun. Hey, it's golden. Wait, there's a... At least the room in this area is still the same. I think it is. It's in the same building, at least.
could uh, take care of Tumbleweed while I'm at it. Yeah, I might as well. Yeah, I will now. I want to go. I won't go back to Seth right away though. Need some desert sage. I don't know how many, but I'm gonna grab a say. What's the amount I need? Fuck. I need. Got some wild fever flu. I got plenty of that. Four of those. I think you need like three each, I think, is what he needed. So let's do three desert sage as well. Before you before, you crazy fucker. Response from John. You need to lay off the whiskey, partner. Like, yeah, no shit he does. Come on. Come on. Hey, a spinner. Type. So it's just a regular, it's a regular, the bruiser, the big guys, and the fasty ones. And none of you are fast. Where'd the spitter go? God damn it, she disappeared again. Fucking bitch. Kill. A few more. Yes. Was giving me a repeater ammo. I was like, give me some repeater ammo, dudes. Oh.
Hey, Jimmy. What the hell? Jesus. Oh man, that hurt. Probably nearly killed me in the goddamn horse. I guess also having the war, uh, the horse of the apocalypse war here would also Let's help go. with um, that fire challenge of killing five undead on fire because you can't set them on fire. But oh, you know, yeah. I think when you run them over, it also deals with initial damage. So when you run them over and hit them, you know, hope you run over five at the same time and hope that it. Uh, Dumbass horse, get back here. Come on.
she died. Well. Dodge that bastard somehow. Jesus. There should be enough plant picking. He can say like wired feet. No, oh, you need a violet snowdrop, not wild fever flu, but I think I can still use it for something. Fuck up, bitch. Sure, you got the answers, my friend. But here you go. It's the mother load I see. I can learn a lot from these thingamabobs, I'm sure. Oh, 
Ouch. That's gonna hurt. No, you, come back here. Oh shit.
Here, take this. Ouch. Oh, oh. Oh. Five rings and all into challenges. Ah, here we are. to get that thing without having to go to El Presidio because I got sharp sugar really, really long. Oh, we're getting master, um, getting master rank in, um, what is it, um, Undead Hunter is not going to happen, it's like half of the mix for. The hunt is certainly a mythical creature. Ouch. Oh, shit, Ed. Dynamite, nice. What I get for Master Hunter rank? I believe it was whole of some. Hey, shit! What was the reward for? Maxi? Oh, it's Horsey Apocalypse gives you the holy water. I have to unlock it, of course. There you are. Nice, you're still alive, old friend. Do you hear this is where I killed uh, Moses? Come on. But it didn't really matter. He's gonna probably die anyway. I'm surprised we didn't see Ginny at Othello's rest, but they were gonna do Katerin because you find him at that grave. That's where his grave Come is. I'm surprised that that Harlock chick was buried there too. I don't know how she got buried there. She must have died at some point, and then someone had the decency to just bury her and leave it alone. Remembered. 
Somewhere. Treasure. Easy. No, it's up here. Fuck, man. I have to look at that video because I don't get anywhere. Never mind, it's down here. I do need a spitter for this next mission's coming. I should come here later on the main school, I think. I don't know if I Fucking dare walk off the edge, you dumb bitch. What is that, a tumbleweed I just saw flying in the air?
you pay more attention to when chat pops in? So I wasn't paying attention to that guy talking. He's like, well, be happy this game's amazing. I'm just kind of ignoring him, playing. <laughs> it's not on purpose, obviously. I'm just too busy. Like when I play a game, I'm usually focused. Easy. Whoa. I just want to keep this thing alive while I head over to plain, plain view. Fully, yeah. yeah. Whoops. Keep forgetting about this place because this is uh, this would have been one of the gang hideouts for uh, Whoa, for the PS3 version to get Walton's gang's outfit. We'll head over here in the main street and I think we meet uh, West Dickens there at some point. Let's go. Is it? Yeah. Is it? I can't remember. Now. I want to go too much into what happens and stuff in case it's like a first-time viewers. Uh, you know, of, of, of this uh, game. Because they're like, oh, I never played this game before. I want to watch someone else play it until you see if I like it. I'll buy it myself and play it. Knew it. There's Fort Mercer. So I think that's all the towns in here. Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, because I went to Cooch Chapel. Nothing down there. Yeah. Which means I gotta be real fucking careful. Come on. Hitch this horse someplace safe. Hitching post around here? God damn it. Don't go wander off too far and don't get shot there. They shoot it? Fuck.
annoying. I had the green bitch with me and she fucking vanishes. That's Just fantastic. Like Trying to help my family. Yes, quite the hobby of yours, that. Sure. Listen, any idea what the hell's going on here? No, but it's brilliant. Man turned against man. Kind-hearted neighbors turned into savage, flesh-eating monsters. This hit? It'll make a fantastic movie. Who would enjoy that? What? What kind of sick person would like that? My kind sir! The lowest common denominator! My people. You're gone, friend. On the contrary, sir. You misunderstand me. Come now, you're a smart fellow. Allow you to illuminate. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Marston. What I need is one of those nasty buggers that spits poisonous snot on you. If in your travels you can find a spare one, we can make moving picture history. You're worse than they are. Each to their own, Mr. Marston. But if you find the time... Bitter I've seen. It's 
helicópteros. Não, ok, está aqui dentro. I see art has got the better of you. Stupidity got the better of me, but I felt I should help an old friend. I appreciate that, sir. Are you ready to watch the creation of magic? If you say so. Wonderful! Let's put the star into his first seat. Right over here. You can put him down here. Him. It's a she. Whatever. Lovely, lovely. Oh, Movie-making history, my friend. Uh, uh, gem. Out. There you go, my man. Out. There we are. Just and ready 
Ready, ready, I see you. You're going to be stars. Do something interesting now. Ah! And action! Zombies, go! Oh, your hands are eat human flesh. Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh, oh, oh. Tommy, that's what you get. Believing in reincarnation. Well, that didn't go well. You can say that again. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Fort Mercer next. Seven out of fifteen creatures. So, uh, dude, you fucked up. I guess there's way to go around. It, it, whoa, it whoa. Good pal. <laughs> Sick bastard. I can actually sit in the camp. It's funny, I never done that in even the previous game. Let's go! Yeah, I'll bother with you. I saved me a lot. Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer and Elker City are the only places where they're actually like heavily guarded so they'll never come under attack. Which is great. confounds us but science saves us that's the truth sir that's the truth west dickens patented tonic the only 100 percent original 200 percent guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth it not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy it repels the undead and saves souls why, it's a natural miracle, and it's available 
Now, here at the low, low price of only 100 solid gold coins. That sounds expensive, but what price eternal damnation? <laughs> you, sir, you look healthy. Would you like to give it a try? Me, sir? Yes, sir. Would you care to demonstrate the undead defeating possibilities of this patented elixir? No, sir, I would not. What I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right now. 100 gold coins? Well, what price would you pay for survival? You tell me, Mr. West Dickens. You tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, why don't all you chaps all take one for free now? And uh, if you like it, when you like it, uh, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. These people have lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, Okay, but can I help it if demand is high? High? I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> I hate this fucker. Come here, take a look. Jesus fucking Christ. Works like a charm. Uh, well, it wasn't quite what I expected. Stuff is like catnip to those bastards. Uh, well, I, I, I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop, and then I know I can cure this foul plague. Okay. Back to doing your dirty work, am I? Now, don't be like that. Don't you remember the good times? Please? I'm an old man! All right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. Okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. Mm. Interesting. Thomas. I don't know if more places get I me mean, more places will obviously get attacked. I don't know if I want to extend this by constantly going and saving locations all the fucking time. It'd be annoying after a while. It's over run, I gotta definitely help him.
Don't waste it, friend. You, sir, are a savior. We gotta help each other, friend. So home. Save my game real quick. Hopefully, down the town is going to get tagged. I don't feel like helping another town right now. Let's get that violet snowdrop. Violet snow drop is close to this little post. Oh shit. Yeah. Damn it. I'm thinking that's the violet snow drop I keep forgetting. So here's snow dropping. There's one. 
you little beauty. Come on! Fort Mercer. The hell's that landing, Ricketts? What the fuck happened now? Why does that landing is even station get big? Customer, Mr. West Dickens. Oh, hello, John. Yeah, poor fellow can't get enough. As I see. Get rid of him, would you? Why? Well, because we're old friends. No. Uh, because uh, we'll team up and fight the forces of darkness together. No. Uh, because I've got something you want. Uh, trust me, you cynical bastard. <laughs> Thank you, dear boy. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You cynical bastard. Oh. Oh, well. oh, did you get the stuff? Of course. Oh, excellent. Oh, wait just a minute. 
Ah, here you go. Now these should help. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. And if you've got your sums wrong? Oh, ye of little faith. Now listen, John. You're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've got a plan, <laughs> but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Yeah, well, excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... Because we're, we're old friends, I know. <laughs> you better not be wasting my time. Uh, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. <laughs> Oh man, it's annoying. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go! Camp under attack. I'll help it when it's overrun. Whoa there! That's what I wanted. I don't like even bother grabbing this shit. <laughs> Are you still alive, man? You're dead now, finally.
before we had the Nigel. Let's head back do this. Missing souls. Taking, this is taking a stranger mission that leads into a whole, like, you know, this game's version of bounty posters. Missing, missing posters, though. <laughs> Go out and find people. There's ten areas for, for here. And there's, there's ten areas from Fort Mercer. Six for El Presidio, I believe. time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find life so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. No helping you, pal. You're like long gone. <laughs> Thank you. 
Are you Millicent? Yes. Come on. Your family's worried sick. Thank God you came along. What were you doing out here by yourself? We were so hungry. Climb on. Let's get you home. Go! What's your name, mister? John. John Marston. I've heard that somewhere before. You from around here? I spent some time down here, but I live in West Elizabeth. I have a small farm up there. My wife and son, they've got the infection. That's terrible. Do you think there's a cure? I sure hope so. Otherwise, well, I don't want to think about the otherwise. Let's go! It just gets worse! God, it's saloon related. Now let's try to get you back to whatever is left of your family in one piece. Here we are. I can't seem to get away from this place. You want the girls from the ranch? If I can reboot the farm? Like I said, thank you. Good luck helping your family, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Plenty of more just like him, Mr. Comedian. We got a whole host of missing folk. And get the semi on neck. World is this one's stronger, but still. Do another one over here. Doing all of them. There's like ten of them here, though. Which sucks, but whatever. I want to do them all. So I need to. Hell was that? Come <laughs> on! 
go faster, quick. And meant it. This is for you. Ain't none of us going to heaven, my friend. Here. You look up. I keep forgetting. Look at these things. Oh man. Yeah.
Oops, sorry. Winona's family wanted you to have this. Not a problem, partner. Colder day here. We'll do some more tomorrow. He'd have to save all his people though. You see like the fucking bounty posters right to wait for them to fucking post the damn thing. It just comes in right there. I think I may play a little longer, but no, it's going to be a long stream, so I'll call it a day. I'll see you all later.